Okay, today we're going to react to 15 must-try travel hacks that I hope I've tried them all by now. I've been on over 100 vacations, so uh, let's see how these go, and I'll let you know if uh, any of them work. So we're going to start off with uh, some packing advice and some shirts on, on top of shirts. Oh, and pants. Okay, so I have done something like this similar and what ends up happening is you get a wrinkled ball of clothes that you have to iron when you get there. Um, so I'm back to the original method where you just kind of pack your stuff regularly, normally. I'm going to I'm gonna say that doesn't work. Here we got screw into a cork for your... Okay, that is not a good idea. If that is your room key and you lose that room key, you, you got problems. Or if it's a locker key, you definitely got problems. So a better idea here, I can already tell you, is to either put it around your neck or buy a bracelet and attach it to a bracelet. We got an ancient camera and some synthetic rope. Let's see what we're gonna do with this. Well, if you wanna learn how to do a braid, I guess this is good. I don't know anyone. I haven't seen one of those cameras on vacation in like a really long time. First off, second off, I feel like it would have came with this rope. I would recommend using the one that came with the camera. If this falls apart, you're going to lose your one of a kind antique camera. So that, that's got to be a fail. <clears throat> Traveling somewhere. Yeah, I am actually soon. We have some more rolling technique. Yeah, you can roll stuff up into little balls for sure. I don't know how that gets more in, but you know, I just squish all my stuff, sit on it, makes it. Put your socks in your shoes, shirt. Oh, well, I don't know about putting dirty shoes in your hair thing, your swim cap. And some more. I hope this is not all just rolling stuff. This, is, this just turns into a lot of ironing when you get there. I'm not a big fan of ironing, especially on vacation. My belts and stuff just go around the outside of my suitcase. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, you wouldn't want to mix that up with your real eye stuff because that'll hurt. That'd wreck your whole vacation. <laughs> oh, oh! This idea, this that that actually works. I have done this, and that is a way to stop the bottles from leaking. But you can't really even bring that stuff anymore. And well, you're not really even supposed to bring jewelry on vacation. But okay. So what are we doing here? Putting stuff in a straw, a necklace to a straw. Okay. I don't understand what that solved. Is that so that you don't, I don't understand that. Heat up the end. What are we putting in? Shit, what? Okay. Like, <laughs> you're going to get shampoo when you get there. <laughs> Trust me, you don't need to bring your shampoo in a straw. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, what do we got? Oh, cut this open. And oh, put your money in it and pills. And okay, well, I guess if you want to do that, it seems like it might have worked. I haven't tried that. I just... And we're back to rolling some clothes. I try and wear my jeans so that I don't have to pack them. And, oh, it's the full-on Canadian tuxedo. Must be Canadian, this person. See if they got the uh, the jacket, too. See it roll up a jean jacket. And... I 
No, that hat's getting crushed for sure. Like that's, I would like to see them unpack this stuff when they get to their destination. Cause all these are your great ideas to get it into the luggage. But the whole point is to look half decent, you know, at dinner when you're on vacation. So show me some of the unpacking of this stuff. I can roll everything up into a ball. Sure. More rolling t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Can roll everything into a little ball. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't take a lot of skirts with me, but if I did, this is how I'm going to pack them next time. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully they show us taking all this stuff out in a week or, you know, three days. See how it looks. That hat's history for sure. All right. I'm glad it all fit, fit perfectly. Out of a wine bottle with a corkscrew. Oh, this is an extra tip. Well, oh, heat it up around the edge. I have not tried that because I've always just had a corkscrew. And if I didn't, I just went to the front desk and, and got one and borrowed it for free. And if not, then I, you know, went to the restaurant or something. But uh, I guess that might work. If it doesn't boil your wine first. And like, where are you? Okay. I don't know where you're going to find a two and a half inch screw and a screwdriver and a fork that you can bend when you're on vacation. I, I feel like it would be much easier to find a corkscrew on vacation. But let's say you, you can't, then I guess you could try that. Ah, this I have tried. Um, 50% of the time you break the bottle. And what's going on here? Trying to pour stuff in. Oh, making a funnel. That works. I've made a funnel out of paper too. Paper works just as good. But I don't know why you'd need to do that on vacation. And you're definitely not packing that. Oh, broken ankle. That's not good. How are we going to fix that with a sandwich? Oh, oh. What? Tin foil eases. That's no. I. There's creams you can get on vacation to <laughs> ease the pain. And now we're, what? We're just wrapping our body parts in tinfoil. Okay, let's make a sandwich. Put it in the tinfoil. We've all done this before. Oh, iron it. Is that how you make grilled cheese on vacation? Ah, sneaky. Sneaky grilled cheese. I have not had to do that either. Olives. Olive can, I don't know where you'd get an empty olive can, and then oil, put it in. All right. These, I thought this was travel hacks. So now, oh, made a candle. Um, with like $5 worth of uh, olive oil. So cut up a gum wrapper. And then what are we gonna do with that? Oh, I, oh yeah, actually I've seen this before doesn't work tried that oh but you can light the light the table on fire yeah caution fire hazard is right so we get to take some plastic oh and tin foil and we iron the plastic and then we have a, a ziploc bag basically we're making a ziploc bag without the zip oh put your sandwich in there so one thing I definitely always bring on vacation is a couple extra Ziploc bags, garbage bags, stuff like that, because you never know when uh, you'll need them or pack a sandwich or whatever. Oops, built all the pasta. I don't tend to pack a lot of food when I go on vacation, so I'm not sure what these are. I, I, I eat when I get there. You know, I haven't had this problem. Popcorn mess flying all over. Corn seeds. Oil. Okay. Well, yeah. So you can also buy microwave bag popcorn. Uh, I think not have a problem, but if you want to do it this way, maybe camping, that would be a good idea. Foil. What do we got here? I don't even know what that was. Mayonnaise or something. Squirty cheese. Oh, what? 
Oh, icing. Oh, they're making a, a icing thing. Okay. Yep. That'd work. That'll make your uh, vacation a lot easier for you. So we got a rusty metal. How is this a travel hack? Like where I'm not gardening when I'm on vacation. I'll tell you that. But yes, tin foil does remove rust. I do know that. Well, I apologize we didn't have a, a bunch more better travel hacks, but there was a couple good ones there. I'll uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll we'll see you again soon.